In this video, we're going to explore primary and alternate units for dimensions in Revit. Have a look at this dimension. You can see on the left, it is using the project units, uh, the default from this project, while on the right, you can see that we've set uh, the unit symbol. If you want to replicate this, select the dimension, click on edit type, and scroll down to primary units. In units format here, click on this button, uncheck use project settings, and then you can see the unit symbol here, set it to millimeter or any units you want to use. If you apply, you can see the millimeters arrive as well. It is also possible to adjust the rounding. For example, it might be a good idea to have a special dimension just for coordination. This way you will know if a dimension is imprecise and has a lot of number on the decimals. So you can go back to the primary units by clicking here. And then in the rounding, you can set three decimal places like this, but you can also go to custom, add as many decimals as you need. So if you click OK like this and you apply, you can see there's a bunch of number here that appear. These are for the primary units. It is also possible to add secondary units. You can see a couple of examples in here. In this case, we've added fractional inches below the main units. In this case over here, we've added feet and inches uh, with bracket suffix and prefix just next to the metric value. Select the dimension here and click on edit type again and scroll down to alternate units. There are two options you can use. The first is to place it below and the second one is on the right. Let's use the right option for now. Click on alternate units format. We're going to use fractional inches in this case. You can set the rounding in this case, let's set to one eighth of an inch. Just like this. And let's click apply to see what happens. And you can see it might be quite confusing. We probably need uh, to use prefix and suffix here. So I'm going to add the bracket like this. Click apply again. If you want to be more, more precise, you could add a space, uh, a dash like this. Uh, it's up to you. You can do anything you want. And if you see there's a small space uh, between uh, the dash and the main unit, you can click on suppress spaces within the text parameters like this to remove it. And finally, something else that you can do if you go back to edit type, this is only in Revit 2022 or more recent versions, but you can now set a dimension prefix and suffix for the primary units. So for the main metric value in this case. So for example, you could add uh, a, a plus or minus sign like this. If you click on apply, you can see it appears right there. If you like this video, check out our Revit Pure Learning Program. It contains three courses for Revit, Basics, Design and Manage. Our comprehensive Revit Learning Program is perfect for both beginners and advanced users who want to have a blast while they master Revit. Go to revitpure.com bundle and get 30% off when you combine the three courses.